King David wanted to move the Ark of God back to the city of Jerusalem, and he put it on an ox cart, which led to disaster. The Israelites were never supposed to transport the furniture in the Ark on an ox cart. They were supposed to carry it. The Levites, specifically the Kohathites, the family of the Levites, were to carry it on staves that they carried on their shoulders. And so because they had used Philistine technology to move the ark, it cost Uzzah his life. It scared David, and he didn't know what to do. The nearest Levite living in the area where this happened was a man named Obed-Edom. And we read about him in 2 Samuel chapter 6, verse 10. So David would not remove the ark of the Lord unto him into the city of David. But David carried it aside into the house of Obed-Edom, the Gittite. And the ark of the Lord continued in the house of Obed-Edom the Gittite three months, and the Lord blessed Obed-Edom and all his household. And it was told King David, saying, The Lord hath blessed the house of Obed-Edom and all that pertaineth unto him because of the ark of God. So David went and brought up the ark of God from the house of Obed-Edom into the city of David with gladness. Now, how can something that's so dangerous that Uzzah loses his life be moved into a man's house and it be a blessing, and the Bible tells us, because of the ark being in his house. Well, we learn this as we study. First of all, David was never supposed to transport the ark on an ox cart in the first place. And had he been careful to read the word of God and obey it, he would have known that. The, the other thing that we learn is, is we learn a little bit about this fellow Obed-Edom. You see, not only is he of the family of the Levites that was supposed to to uh, uh, take care of these things. He was also a descendant of Korah. And in the book of Numbers, we read in chapter 16 about a rebellion that Korah led. And here's what the rebellion was. Korah and Dathan and Abiram and some other fellows said, it's not fair that only Aaron and his sons get to be the priests. It's not fair that Moses and Aaron lead us. All the people are priests. All the people are prophets. We can, any of us do this. And so they all came with their censers and they were, they were burning incense. And they were rebelling against what God had said that only Aaron and his descendants would be the priests. And if you remember that story, the earth opened up and swallowed up him and some of his family. God judged them very strongly for that. And so they weren't content with what God had given them. They wanted something else. And here's the lesson. You see, Obed-Edom is a descendant of Korah, but he didn't follow in his father's or his ancestors' great rebellious footsteps. Instead, he was happy with the station and the situation that God had given him. You see, the book of First Chronicles tells us that Obed-Edom was a porter. And so he, he was a doorkeeper in the house of God. That was his job, and that was the job of his descendants. And the Bible says that God blessed him. He had eight sons that all served in the temple as well, and 62 grandsons. We can read about that in First Chronicles. Now, here's the, here's the lesson that David learned. Number one, when you're going to do a godly thing, you need to do it in God's way. And the way to do that is to do it according to his word. Number two, be like Obed-Edom. Obed-Edom was a faithful man. He was, he was faithful to the position that God had given him. And so as a doorkeeper, his door was open to the ark of God. Bring it on in here, set it right here. We'll take care of it. We'll make sure that we handle it in the way that we're supposed to. And the Bible tells us that we are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Let's be happy, content, and faithful with what God has given to us. And let's learn the lesson of Obed-Edom, a faithful man who was blessed by God. God bless you. Have a great day.